Hey there, it's um, AK Pon. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick uh, video tutorial on how to make your own custom um, uh, ringtone for your iPhone. Um, you have to have iTunes, iTunes to um, do this, and hopefully we can get this sorted for you. And um, if you've got any questions, just let me know. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure you you uh, open up iTunes and choose the song that you want. So here I'm just choosing uh, Netski and what you want to do is right click, go to get info and then you want to go to options and then click the start and stop time and you want the start time to be um, wherever you want like um, wherever you find the best part of the song basically you want that to be your start time and then the finish time has to be uh, 30 seconds after whatever the start time is. So I'm just going to find the start time of mine now and then um, just so that you get uh, an idea of what to do. Uh, so let me just do this now. Okay, so mine starts at one minute exactly. So you want to click start time, and then you want to type in one minute. Whoops, I just typed in one. You're meant to put one dot dot zero zero. You just change that. So you right click, get info, change that to one dot dot zero zero, and then the stop time you want one dot dot thirty. But obviously, it's different for you if you're changing something else. And press OK. And then you want to click and, as you can see, like it plays from one minute um, because you haven't changed it yet, but you want to right click that and do create AAC version, which will then create one just above the song. And then you want to uh, click and drag that onto your desktop, like so. And right now, when I first did uh, oh yeah, and then you want to go back to iTunes, uh, right click and delete uh, and move to recycle bin. And then you want to right click the original file, go back to get info, tick off um, start time and stop time and change them to zero and click OK. Just so that it's back to normal again. And then minimise that. Um, right, when I first did this, I didn't have the M4A uh, thing. Um, it was just showing the title. So, what you have to do uh, for you those for those out there that have the same problem as me, you want to go to Start, uh, Control Panel, Appearance and Personalization, and then you want to click on the Folder Options tab. And then you want to go to view, uh, which is the second tab. And then you want to uncheck off, um, hide, um, hide stuff for all unknown, uh, for all known file types. And then press uh, apply and OK, and then you'll be able to see it. And then the next thing you'll do is right-click that, get rid of the A at the end of M, uh, yeah, M. For A and change that to M4R, and then it will ask if you want to change it. Just click yes, and then all you have to do is um, just move that over. All you have to do is then drag and drop that into the library section until it's highlighted and let go, and then it will automatically create a ringtones tab for you, and it should be in there. Um, and then after that. All you have to do is uh, go onto your iPhone, um, make sure it's plugged in, uh, and then you want to go at the top, Go. you've got summary info apps and ringtones on iTunes, and you want to make sure that ringtones is uh, clicked and synced, and make sure it's synced, so I'm trying to get my words out here, and then sync it to your phone, and then once that's finished, you go onto your phone, you go to settings, then sounds, then go to ringtones, and then you'll have a custom tab and then you'll be able to click on the ringtone that you've just made and it will be sorted. Uh, 
I hope I've helped. Um, this was a voiceover to the recording that I did because for some reason it didn't record the audio last time. So hopefully we'll do it this time. Um, check out my other videos and uh, tell me what you think. And cheers for watching.